Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? This is Captain Dr. Spock. We are playing the Fishing Planet. Today, we are back in New York, and we're going to check out some spoons, and we're also going to see if we can't catch anything with one specific plastic, the grub. Um, we'll see how it goes. I hope it goes good. Yeah, how you guys doing today? Hope everybody's doing great. Yesterday being Valentine's Day. Did you guys go out and do anything? Have fun? Do the date thing? Have dinner? Question mark, maybe? Yeah? I, myself, we didn't go out or anything. The girl and me, we decided to stay home and... I watched movies with her and I didn't... I didn't get on and start gaming until like almost 10:30 or something last night. So I, you know, basically, I, I just basically spent the day with her instead of doing any gaming or stuff like that. She liked it. She was very happy. Um, it was a good time, though. Very good time. Let me know in the comments below what you guys did. If you guys went out, had a nice, fancy, expensive date, or if you guys stayed home and made popcorn and that's that was what you did. You know, I'd like to hear. Let me know. Oh, it was a bite. Nice, nice, we just missed a bite. Yeah, today we are enjoying another lovely rainy day. As I look outside, it's doing the same exact thing, in-game and out-of-game. So, wonderful. Very wonderful. <sighs> yeah. Just another great day here in Washington, and another wonderful rainy day here in New York. I've noticed every single time I've come here, it's been rainy. I'm not 100% sure why, but I haven't seen a sunny day in New York yet. Which is almost irritating. Then again, I, you know, I don't, I don't get, I don't get sick of the recording of the rain. It's, it's kind of nice. They did a good job with it. But you guys could have heard that. Sorry about that. Go ahead and run out to the dock here. And get this going here. Get a little bit of extra distance for free. Just so we're not... Just so we're not... Trying to cast all the way from shore, you know, we're already X amount of feet out into the water. Makes it a little bit nicer. Yeah, we'll, we're trying out, this is the Black Narrow Spoon. We're going to see if that can do anything for us today. Maybe on a faster speed? There we go, that gets it off the bottom. Yeah. And then, uh, we also got another narrow spoon, and then we're also going to try out the casting spoon. Wait, did I say the casting spoon? No, not the casting spoon, sorry. Brain fart. I meant a grub. We're going to try out a grub here. Um, I got the biggest jig head, which is a three-fourths ounce with a three-aught hook, and we got a three-inch grub, I think? Yeah? Yeah, three-inch grub couple different colors. Let's see if we can make it work. I feel like we'll be able to, but at the same time, I've noticed this lake is pretty slow sometimes, so. There is a bite. Right as I say, it's pretty slow, we get a bite, so. We just have to see, I guess. See what is going on here. Nope, nothing there. Yeah, that's. Oh wow. It's kind of disturbing. There's more than one. No, we're just not going to look at that. We're just not going to look at that. We're going to go back to fishing and not think about the people that we're fishing next to with their multiple arms and appendages and. 
whatever that guy had going on, really. Had a very unique look going, that is for sure. Come on, just just bite it. You know you want to. All the little fishes down there. You see that. I don't even know if they actually can see that. I think it would be more of a... Definitely be more of a feel the uh, the vibrations of it being jigged through the ground, the water, not the ground, jigged through the water, because that does not look like very clear water at all. It has a very, what do you say, murky, or uh, I guess cloudy kind of look to it. It's got the greenish. That emerald green look that only allows you to see so far, it looks like. I can't, I can't remember what makes the river that way. Ours gets that way in the summertime sometimes, but... That's only in some areas. That's because we have clay in our river that clouds out the rest of it, but... Up higher, there's areas where it's just... Beautifully. Beautifully clear, and then you get down and it mixes, and... In the winter time, the rivers, some parts of the river get that uh, bluish, glacier blue look because it's so cold and clear and fresh water coming out of the mountain. They're just, Ur! you know it's cold. You know it's cold. Oh, there was a bite. Oh, man. If I could just get on that fish that's biting it. Let's try that again. It seems to be right, right at like 30 or 40 feet, it seems. So. See if we can get him to bite. He's definitely there, though. That's all that matters. Fish is actually there. Why did I just all of a sudden get a lift drop? That was weird. There's another little bit of a bite. I might have to look into that, see what that actually is, and see if that's just a glitch in the game, or... That is... Ooh, 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 what'd I get? Nice! Yellow perch, look at that! I hope that's not what was actually biting me the whole time there. I could see if it was, but... That's not what I was looking for, really. You know? I mean, perch are cool and all, but... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. What is this? What do we got going on here? Oh, almost lost it there. What do we got going on? Oh, look at there. Very nice. That's a little step up in the game. Okay. There's two fish in a row with the narrow spoon black. Let's see if we can catch maybe one more here. And then we'll see what damage some of the other spoons can do. Or the other spoon I have can do. Does. Bleh, bleh. The other spoon I have. Let's see what damage it can do. And then... Let's throw that grub on there and see if we can't get ourselves into something with that grub. Maybe. We'll see. No promises, but... I was about to say, it almost seems like the lake's picked up a little. We're actually starting to get something going on here, but... Uh... Meh. Okay, here we go. Let's give this one more try. Flip her out there and give it one more cast. Hmm. Come 
comes in so fast. Look at that. Well, that's probably bound to catch something, honestly. I mean, just bouncing along the bottom. And that's where usually the bite would happen, right there in that, right when you start going again. That first, you know, right when you start retrieving after the stop. Well, let's, what's going on here? Okay, let's, uh, let's switch lures here. And I'll bring you guys back in just a second. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this bad boy out there. Nice, very nice. Let it sink down. Yeah. Yeah, we like that. See if we can't get ourselves anything to get a hold of this. Makes me wonder why this casts farther compared to my other reel and rod. This one gets out to 130, whereas the other one only got out to like 101. Uh oh, doofed. Let's try that again. Let's try that one more time here. Okay. Gets it out there. Let's give it a real speed 2. Let it sink first, right? No, real speed one, because this is a different reel. Or real speed two. There we go. Now we're making a difference. Now we're making a difference. Getting that lift drop going. be so wet just standing out here in the rain like this. But tis what it is to be a fisherman. Battling the elements. Speaking of that, you know what I seen today, guys? I stepped out the door to get good newspaper out the front door. And a whole, I don't know if you call them a gaggle, a flock, a gathering, a, a herd. But there was just a whole bunch of them. A batch. We're going, we'll call them a batch. There's a batch of robins. Um, I don't know. I, I Offhand, when I got back indoors, I turned around. I turned around and counted like seven of them right away. And that's not all of them that were in there. There was just seven that I could see right off the bat. Well, yeah, that right there, I don't, I don't know if you know, but a bunch of robins in the yard, birds chirping in the air, that's the first return and sign of spring. And uh, the weather has been a lot warmer. There hasn't been such a cold nip in the air. It's actually have uh, the, the sense of like, ooh, yeah, it's nice though, but I'm not actually freezing my ass off. Which is nice. It's very nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. What do we got here? Got something with a little bit more weight going on. Yeah, what do we got? It's not wanting to give up. Oh. What the hell? Give it some more. I don't want to put the drag too high up because I don't want to snap the line. This is obviously something hefty. It's not coming off the bottom. Ooh, wow, look at that, guys. Is that what I think it is? <gasps> look at that walleye. Not as big as I thought it was going to be, but it's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I like how they added the uh, the little toother grabber, fish grabber thing. Keep you from grabbing it by hand. Nice. 
You guys seen that? That was a nice walleye too. Put money in the bank. Whoa, whoa. That was amazing. One fish, two hundred dollars. That was just a nice narrow spoon, the purple narrow spoon. Looks like a little fish. Just working it along in the bottom out there. It took a little bit to get it, but I finally got one. Felt good to get one, too. Let's see if we can't hook ourselves into another one here. I've noticed all the fishing on this lake, besides maybe the bobber fishing, and if you're doing it right, is, is pretty slow. And there's some lures that, yeah, you can go crazy with and just get them all the time with, but, yeah. I don't know, it's, it's not, uh, not, yeah, not the most fastest fishing lake, I guess you could say. Let's try this right here. Pull it out next to them pads, see what that brings us. And you know what, guys? I just realized that this whole time I've had the chat open. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you want if you want me to close that or if you don't mind it being open or what. I noticed that I uh, I just realized I have it open and it's something that I will usually close for you guys. So oh, I just had a bite. I will usually close for you guys so you don't have to see that and you get more of like the fishing experience, but. Let me know down below if you want me to keep that closed or keep that open, or if it doesn't even matter. You know, it's just one of those things. You're not there for the... it doesn't matter. You don't even see it anyway. Yeah. I feel like a doof because now... I've left it open and I, I... I'll just leave it open for the rest of this one because I've already failed and left it open. At the same time, I could just go like that. That, that looks a lot better already. We're going to keep it like that for the rest of this video. Sorry for leaving it up like that. That was my bad. But still, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about the whole, uh, if you guys want to see that or not, and if the chat or not. Um, I know I asked you guys about the whole, if you guys cared about seeing other people and stuff. And To be honest, if you wouldn't fish with other people, we wouldn't have seen what we seen earlier there, that little demonstration of multiple arms and extra fishing poles and, and, and shoulders out of backs and yeah just didn't make any sense yeah, we wouldn't have got that if we wouldn't be fishing with all these other people, so if you guys like to see the chat, just let me know in the comments below and we'll keep that thing going or I'll keep it down or, yeah. So, we did not get the fish that time. That's not that's not surprising, really. Let's get back over here. I liked it over here more. I liked it way over here more. Okay. Give this spoon one more try here and then we're gonna flip over to... The grub, and we're gonna see what the grub can do. See if it has any better. What did I say? Um, qualities? Chance? Ability? There we go. Gotta get the, gotta get the tip up a little bit gives you more action in the bait. I think my record walleye, I think if I remember right, is a four pound walleye. Right now. So that would be the, the number to beat right at this moment is a four pounder, so. We'll keep our eyes out, see if we can't get our hooks into anything, but 
As of right now, I don't think we're going to be hooking into any four pounders. That three something was close, but not, not quite close enough, so. Let's try this right here. And after this cast, we'll switch over to the grub and see if that produces up anything. Get, get that lift drop in. Oh, there was a little bit of a bite. Let's see if we can get them a little more enticed here. Maybe? No? I don't think so. I think we've already lost him. I think he gave it that one little hit and took off. Yeah, I don't think he's having it. We tried. We definitely tried, but he wasn't having it. Well, let's give this right here a wing. The white grub on a three-fourths ounce jig head with a three-aught hook. Let's just wing that out there. Let's drop the drag. Bring up the tip a little and see if this will do anything out here. You never know. Sometimes it's the bait you never expect it. We gotta give it a little bit more oomph to get it off the bottom there. There we go. Oop, there is a bite. Yeah, we're already getting a bite right off the bat. It's always a good sign. See if we can't get him to actually take it, though. That's that's the goal here. Don't just bite it. Actually, like, try to eat it. Let's see here. Let's try that again. Let's get one more wing out there. And... Oh, yes. Waya. Waya. There we go. 115, that's not bad, that's a good cast. Oh, the girl's home. Look at that. Here we go. Get that fish to bite onto it this time. Can't resist the delicious little grub. Fluttering around down there. I think I'm reeling way too fast. Yeah. Ain't got no time to hang out in the action zone there. Flip it back out. We'll drop the real speed down so that we're not going so fast. Go like, bloop, like that right there. There we go. Oop, let it sink. What am I thinking? There we go. That's better. Real speed's not going as fast. The bait's in the area a little bit longer. Still doesn't quite seem to make a difference. That's okay, though. Oh, is that a fish jumping out there? I just seen a fish jump. You guys see that? Fish jump, like, right there. Right over there somewhere. Well, maybe that fish actually being caught right now? Oh, look at that. There's a fish. Maybe that fish actually was being caught way out there. Hmm. That makes me wonder now. Because that guy just did hook up that fish and bring it in, but... I've seen it so much farther out there. Okay, here we go. Everybody around me is catching fish, but me. Isn't that just wonderful? stand over here and flip this out. Determined to catch at least one fish with this grub. At least one. That is the goal. Oh, wonderful. 
real zone, can't you tell? There's a lot of extra noise. Oh, there we go. Way out there. Um, let's increase the drag a little, a little bit, a little more. Yeah, we're gonna increase the drag to right there and see if that's too much. No, that's not too much. Perfect. Ooh. We're not gonna go all the way with the drag. We don't want to do that. This is kind of low tier gear, um, reel and rod setup. So, and my line is already frayed. Oh, come on now. Don't be like this. Just come on up. There we go. What do we got? What is it? Ooh! Another walleye. Very nice. Very nice. On the grub. Very nice. Now, I know I've already caught a walleye on the black spoon. But that'll be a first for catching a walleye on the white grub. And you kind of see where I'm casting, guys. I, I think there is kind of a, a, a set markered area, not markered area, but a little area where, you know, you're more likely to catch a walleye if you cast in this spot rather than in other areas. Um, I really think there is a, a spot there, which, let me reel in and I'll point it out real quick. I think it's off the end of my pole, this yellow tree, in between this yellow tree, somewhere in here, and I think you can this is where, you know, you're more likely to hook into a walleye. Don't fact quote me on this one. It's just a, an assumption slash guess. It seems to be where I'm catching mine. So. Go ahead and give it a, a try for yourself, guys. I mean, you see I've caught one on... Well, not on this episode on the Black Spoon, but... Earlier episode I caught one on a Black Spoon. This one I caught one on the purple narrow spoon and a white grub, which is, that's the first time I've caught one on a soft bait, which is awesome. That makes me smile. That's, you know, ah, oh, perfect. Catching them on more than just the, what everybody else is catching them on, because I haven't heard of anybody catching them on grubs or anything like that, which was not good. Not good at all. Get one more cast in here. One more. Let's cast it right next to that. There we go. Let her sink. Sink on down. Like this. There we go. It's off. Get one more fisher. That's all I want. I notice lift drop is a lot easier with the you raise up like this all the way. Yeah. Oops, snag. Wow, that's the first time I've got a snag in that area. Try casting it this one real quick. I honestly, every time I catch one, I can't remember if I'm casting more to the right or the left, but I think it's actually this tree. Casting out to this tree and letting it go down and then reeling back from there. I think. I don't know. I just know they're out there somewhere. That's the best way to put it. I know they're out there somewhere. But I want to thank you guys all very much for joining me today. We got to see a couple different spoons today, catch some fish, and we actually caught a fish on something we never thought we really would catch a fish on. I, I was honestly pretty hopeless for grubs and catching a walleye. But lo and behold, it actually caught one. And if I was to sit here and really focus it, I could catch some more, but I don't think you guys want to sit here and see me just batter this lake with casts. After cast, after cast. 
Uh, I think the ability to cast farther would really help me here. Which I think my line might be too heavy or something. I'll look into it. Next time I come out, I'll probably have a little bit lighter line or something so I can cast out farther. We'll figure it out. But yeah. It was nice to see the fish that we caught. You know, we, we still caught something on the black spoon. Even though it wasn't a walleye, we caught a red fin. Or did we? I think we did. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. I thought we did. But yeah. Thank you guys very much for stopping in. I know there wasn't as many fish caught today, but the fact that we caught fish on different lures was what was nice. We caught fish on lures we haven't caught fish on. And so, you know, that makes it very nice and awesome and kind of debuffs a thing that I was kind of worried about. I wasn't even sure if you were able to catch catch anything with some of the different lures that we were using. Just because it seemed so, you know, I, I was doing reading and stuff and it didn't seem like anybody was using anything other than narrow spoons to catch walleye. And I just, I had to come out and kind of debunk it myself. I mean, I know it was, I know I used a narrow spoon, but I didn't see anybody using the specific narrow spoon that I use today. Um, they all talk about, uh, like, yellows and reds, and they don't, they don't ever mention the purples. Um, I have seen some guys talk about the black spoon, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We also caught one on the white grub. We used the other grubs before, but we didn't really seem to do it very well. But the white grub did catch us one fish at least, using that three four ounce three fourth ounce head with a three out hook in it. But yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you all had a wonderful Valentine Day. I am gonna go, you know, go on a date with a girl right now actually, and I'm gonna go give her the rest of her Valentine Day. Because that's what she wants. I know it. And, yeah, it'll be fun. We're gonna go out, do fun things and stuff, and... I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you got plans to go out, do fun things and stuff. And don't forget to stop in later on and see if I'm streaming or not. I should be streaming tonight around 9 Western uh, Pacific Time. PM, by the way. And, yeah... It's, this is one more cast, guys. Just one more cast. Hold on a second. <laughs> so, we look across the lake, and you think there's only one fishing spot here? Just one, maybe? Maybe two? No, just one? Okay. That's cool. This is going to be our last cast of the episode, guys. This is one, one more cast. One more cast, right here. This is it. This is it. This is our one more cast. Oh, i got to let it sink. I keep forgetting that get way too excited. Here we go. Let's let's bring our one more cast back. Oh, there we go. We got a fish. One more cast brings us one more fish. And let's bring in the drag a little bit. Yeah, that's another walleye for sure. Very nice. Yeah, as I'm reeling this in, thank you guys very much for stopping in. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, working on getting more things up on the channel as, you know, we, we like to do... Oh, yeah, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. I hope you guys enjoyed that spin tires episode yesterday. Oh, yeah, look at him. That's another walleye for sure. Look at that, guys. The white grub. The white grub. And our one more cast prevails with one more fish. Well, thank you guys very much. I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Captain Dr. Spock, signing out. I will catch you guys all on the flip side.